so this one will actually be short uh, because I have stuff to do. Um, but I just thought that I would go over a, uh, a guy in uh, Liberty Circles who has decided that not only is it acceptable to blame a woman for being drugged and raped by her spouse and claim that she caused all of her own marital, marital problems, even though, like, the reason uh, she says this happened is because she was diagnosed with cancer and the doctor said she couldn't have sex without risking things. Um, so this guy, uh, Aaron Horrocks, um, decides to uh, post under her post a bunch of bullshit. Now, it came back up, like, this happened, like, a year ago. It came back up because I remember, like, everything. Um, if, if something, if I interact in a certain way with people, there's every likelihood that I will remember that interaction years later, you know, certainly a year later, um, because my brain catalogs a bunch of stupid information. So I remembered who this person was when he commented on my uh, my post against Elon Musk. One of many, by the way. Um, and I'll be finishing very soon an article on Agoras Nexus about, like, why Elon Musk is anti-libertarian. So keep an eye out for that. But um, the ultimate thing here was... Uh, let me pull up the tweet... Uh, reminder that every revolutionary new thing Elon Musk does, including Cybertruck, is a scam, except Neuralink, which is the basis for substantial evil, and that he's a con artist who treats Tesla and SpaceX workers poorly while operating businesses at a loss. Facts. Also, Elon Musk is quite like Steve Jobs in that actual engineers and scientists are the ones making the stuff and he gets the credit because he's the public face. He had time to go smoke weed with Joe Rogan because he's not a Tesla worker, working holidays to avert bankruptcy. Now, just a quick rundown. Uh, the Boring Company was a scam because the Boring Company uh, was supposed to be like this massively new system of underground, not just like, you know, right below the surface, but like totally underground, um, uh, car tunnels where you would have your car lowered on an elevator and then the elevator would zoom your car to its next location 100% safely and, uh, get you there without having an accident. Now, did that happen? No. Uh, the first thing he did was get people to fund it himself because uh, he didn't have the startup capital. Um, and so he sold boring bricks to people from the boring company. Um, and when he did that, uh, he uh, like bored the, the, the dirt out, made bricks, sold bricks, funded his tunnel. What is his tunnel? It's an aerodynamically inept tunnel with um, very low speed limits um, where you can't go in your own car like he was saying you could and where you have to take a Tesla uh, brand vehicle from one location to another, which you could just drive to like really easily. Um, or, you know, if you're getting fucking... Um, if you're getting uh, transported by a driver anyway, you could take a fucking taxi or call an Uber. And this is very expensive. Like, the whole thing, the whole process is designed to be expensive. It's like a retarded subway, but in earthquake country? Why? Why would you... Well, okay, so beyond all of that, just that out of the way, um, Tesla's aren't nearly as environmentally friendly as, as he says. He gets the batteries from Panasonic. Um, his self-driving was a disaster. Um, and there's just a laundry list of issues, not the least of which is that Tesla factor, factory workers are treated like absolute dog shit. Um, SpaceX um, and Tesla, uh, along with Tesla's solar joint, are all fucking heavily state-subsidized and funded. 
Um, you know, so like all of the thing like here, like is directly coming from your pocket. SpaceX was directly responsible for uh, uh, multiple crashes and those crashes resulted in like uh, workers being told that if they didn't work holidays last year, that uh, the entire thing would go tits up because uh, they would have to work in order to build more ships in order to avert total bankruptcy. So, yeah, I mean, I'm right. I'm just right. And then, like, Neuralink, long-time listeners will know that I've already talked about that. I don't need to say anything about that. And I will be making a fuller video when my article comes out, because there's more! But, like, all of that, all of that is, like, already bad. Um, and, and, like, so is his semi that didn't get released, right? That's only just now available for pre-order, which he said would be, like, next year, next year, next year, next year, next year. It's like the Elon Musk chant, next year, next year. The humanoid robot didn't didn't work. None of it worked. He's just a con artist. He's a scammer. If you want more on the engineering side of it, watch Thunderfoot's videos on him. They're great. Um, even though we don't agree about politics, we can agree on Elon Musk being a massive fucking scammer. Um, so, with all that out of the way, uh, we get to the subject of this, um, which is his, his dumb contributions to this. Um, so... Every day I see people driving around in his cars must be a scam. And I said, hey, awesome. So you ignore literally everything else he does, focus on the cars and ignore how he treats the workers who make those cars and the fact that they had to work holidays in order to avert bankruptcy. That's a good fan, boy. Your must tokens will be in your account. So I got a tiny little ratio there, but I don't care because it's true. And you'll be able to see some uh, more ratios a little bit later. He's like, have you ever worked at a startup or a small business? Sometimes you have to work holidays. Yes, it's a struggle. Not every business can be a multinational, multi-billion dollar corporation. So, just nothing but simping. Um, it's not a small business. It's not a startup. It's a massive business, and that's why Elon Musk is like the richest guy. You know, it fucking, it's manifest how, how, how bootlicky this is. So... I remember who this motherfucker was because uh, he and I have a history where I opposed him for saying this, where somebody <coughs> uh, posted that they were the victim of rape and that their spouse had fucking done it to them because of their diagnosis. And he's like, taking their side. So... He got some support in that original thread. And it didn't matter what people said. He, he, he literally later on went on to say that she's causing her own situation, that she's abusing him by not fucking him for the time period while she's recovering from cancer. Making all these stupid little excuses. So I brought it back up. And this caused a firestorm. Um, a bunch of people brought up uh, a bunch of stuff uh, involving him. Shit. Gee. Shucks. I wonder why. Like, all these people against him, because maybe he's a fucking piece of shit. He has a lot of people in Liberty Circles, though. So, that's something to consider. And consider it. I hope you do. Um, so, like, I, I post this, you know, that, that he's over here with that. Um, and, like, ultimately, this starts to set him off, because he just can't stand any level of criticism, and every time people, you know, uh, go against him, he uses that as an excuse to be even more a toxic piece of shit. So, because he can't take any amount of criticism, he uh, decided to go against me in this way. And he decided to say, When someone harasses you on the internet, it's interesting to look them up, to see what they look like, and to see that they're begging strangers on the internet to pay their rent and buy them food. Links in the description. I wouldn't waste time talking to this loser in person. Why argue with him here? 
He got five likes for that. <laughs> From bootlickers. Literally. Just bootlickers. So, um, those are there. And some people took notice of this. Um, not the least of which was Phil uh, from uh, All That Remains, because we're mutuals. So shout out to All That Remains. Um, sometimes I forget that people actually read my tweets, but uh, yeah, there's there's that. There's also a bunch of other stuff here. And the reason that this thread was known about was because I posted my response here that, yeah, I do need the support in order to continue making content. That's how content creation works. Thanks for sharing my image, which proves that I have better hair than you ever will. Maybe stop p saying people caused their assaults and start working on yourself, apologist. And that's exactly it. She caused her marital problems. Wow. So he's just going full misogynist here. Um, <laughs> and this was how it was in the middle of it. Um, and <laughs> yeah. He's a piece of fucking shit. So I kind of went off on him too. I said, and by the way, you're not being harassed. Harassment was being in her mentions for days, insulting her and blaming her for what happened to her. That was you and a couple other people. This is called accountability. Stop defending rapists. Stay away from women. Delete Twitter. One more thing. You were a Marine for eight years and have no business complaining about anyone else living at anyone else's expense. That's what you did and... You helped end a lot of lives. I'm not sorry. You lose. Skillish UL plus ratio. Taxation is theft, musky boy. Stay mad. I lied. One more thing. This is being brought up because people should know who they're talking to. Musk relies on grants, loans, regulatory credits, and regulatory capture. Many billions of dollars stolen from everyone. You defend the leeches you like. <laughs> That was it, right? So he gets mad, and uh, later on down in this thread, you can see somebody is defending me, and he says, Well, if I can today, well, I reported Jeremiah for harassing me. A couple of more of these, and he'll lose his Twitter account. And this was all it took for a bunch of people to, uh, you know, come, come down against him, even people who don't like me. Don't like this dude more. And that should really tell you everything you need to know. Like, I don't care if he's trolling or not, because some people are drooling about that in my notifications right now. I don't care if he's trolling or not. I think people like this need to be put on blast and exposed so that liberty circles don't fucking look like this and so that it makes it clear that we are going to hold people accountable. Period. That's what I'm doing I'm not sorry. Let me be super clear. I'm not fucking sorry. And I have zero problem. Zero. Coming out against people like this. Especially since there are people talking about how he's also been a pedophile apologist and an informant. So, you know, it's almost like he's just a massive piece of shit. But hey, if you want to make massive pieces of shit like him mad, feel free to subscribe. He doesn't want me to have numbers. Feel free to like this video, share it around, doesn't matter. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and support me by the links in the description. I got some shit I need to take care of, and one of those things is to smash the fucking state.